in here but we finna do what we finna do welcome to a new vlog i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are enjoying the content that i have been sharing with you this year so far um if i knew that this vlog was going to start off the way it's about to start off i would have just added the start of this vlog to the end of the last vlog because that would have made more sense but like i said in my kitchen refresh video i'm trying to make my vlogs a little bit shorter and stuff like that so we are picking up from where we left off in the last one i showed you guys the curtains in the kitchen and sort of like the overall progress of the kitchen what it looks like um i'm still um, planning on changing just a few more things in there such as the dining um, chairs they are an absolute mess i just want new ones um ones that will last longer and ones that are more like family friendly suitable for like kids to eat and not make too much of a mess on it and stuff and then um i might change the dining table as well because i highly regret buying a rectangle shaped dining table i should have just bought a round table that kitchen slash dining area was designed for a round table not a square one but that will come much later because the most important things to me was to get the shelves up because i had bought them and they were just sitting there catching dust and to paint the walls and to sort out the blind slash curtain um situation as well so the important stuff for me is out the way so i'm i'm happy with the kitchen um jl's room you guys saw me um sort of like take everything out of there sand it down um paint it with the help of the kids um and put the curtain pole up as well as put the um sort of like shelves from orca up as well so where we're currently at is i've ordered everything for that room i think i told you guys before in a previous vlog that there were delays with deliveries and stuff like that today almost everything has arrived so the bunk bed is here i'm going to show you guys the boxes in the hallway in a second and um i received a email from zara home to say that the table lamp that i ordered has arrived and is available for me to pick up at my local collection point so i went over there quickly to pick it up here's the box and it's looking kind of it's sorry my address yeah it's looking kind of small i'm not gonna lie to you um zara home anyway let's see i'm gonna open it in a second on my way back home i saw this big van lorry truck whatever not truck lorry so this big lorry um coming in and then i thought it might be the mattress because obviously it's a bunk bed you need two mattresses um it's a two bed bunk bed by the way um and i just thought it might be the mattress because i did receive an email to say that that's coming today so i thought let me wait for it so i'm waiting and then the guy got out of the car or the vehicle and then he opened the back and then he made eye contact with me and he's like you waiting for a delivery i said i'm waiting for a mattress but i don't think he heard me say that so he was like ikea i was like yeah um i'm waiting for an ikea order where are you delivering it to and then he said my um my name and my door number when he checked on his Thing, their device thing that they have and I was like yeah so I was like lucky I saw you downstairs obviously you would have you know um, knocked my door and I would have opened you anyway but I wasn't expecting it today I've been going back and forth with Ikea guys they've been annoying me this year so far and I don't like it me and Ikea are not on good terms right now so yeah that's here which is the bench and the um chest of drawers so i'm really happy so basically all the furniture for the bedroom is here so i'm so happy all that's left now is the mattress i'm waiting for the mattress i'm waiting for the bedding i ordered some bedding for marks and spencer they have sales going on and i'm also waiting for an order from john lewis which is which will include the curtains for the bedroom so after that i'm almost done because i want to get a tv for that room as well so yeah but anyway it's looking a bit too small maybe it's the way it's packaged okay no, it 
this is this is kind of small you know let me see the base so this is the shade i need to get a light bulb I don't know when I'm going to start reading the dimensions properly when it comes to Zara home stuff because this is t Why is it so small? <sighs> Let me show you guys. That's why it's only 29.99 for a Zara home lamp. This is What I'm going to do is, once I've assembled everything, because this will be going on the table, obviously, I will see how it looks, because the table is quite long, and I thought it would be just a little bit bigger than this, maybe just this much. So, if it looks like too small, because it's all about scale and balance, if it looks too small, I'll return it and I will get one from somewhere else. It's just that I really liked the finish of this, the color. Let me just get started on the furniture, child. Okay, so here are the boxes. This is the chest of drawers. It always comes in three. And then here is the bunk bed. So yeah, got a lot do okay so i had you guys on a time lapse whilst i was putting this up but the camera was blurry so i don't even think i'm going to show you because it's blurry you can't see anything but this is what it looks like and this is where i'm putting it but um i said color no is too light for me i might have to paint this i've got paint i've got paint this color to stain it so I might have to do that because this is looking a little bit too light for me. And I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but what's going on over here? What's going on? What is this? You know? Yeah, the camera is definitely picking up that bit that I just showed you. So, yeah. Yeah. It's all on this side. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna lie, this is um this is stressing me out, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Just even looking at it like this. Hey guys, I'm just taking a little break. So I'm eating some salad, feeling upper echelon. It's something about a salad. <laughs> it feels upper echelon. I'm up here, you down here. Like, I'm up here and y'all down here. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Um, I didn't vlog earlier because uh, Jemima's actually been helping me. She's been putting the screws in, bless her. And I'm just tired of blowing out her face and stuff. So, yeah gonna put these parts together and then I think I'll just show you guys the finished look yeah Curtains. Huh? Curtains. Yeah. You're gonna wash it? Did you wash it? No. No, no, no. You gonna wash it? Um no, I don't need to wash it, do I? Yeah. It's, no, I need it's clean. Pull yeah? it in. Is it clean? Yeah? Is it it's clean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't need to wash it. Yeah. Maybe it's 
you washing? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got bag. Low speed? Low speed? Low speed. Yeah, low speed. 400 speed. And uh, you're going to hang it. It's a little bit steamy and hang it. Okay. It's going to be look nice. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> All right. hello guys welcome back to the vlog i hope you're all doing well am i recording is it recording is it recording okay okay yeah so i hope you guys are good it's been a couple days since i've switched on the camera um there hasn't been much progress during those days hence why i haven't come on here to speak to you guys thank you but basically um jl's old bed is going to a new home i'm giving it to my brother he's going to keep it for my niece um, she's still quite young so um he's gonna take the bed off my hands the wardrobe um i was thinking of selling it on ebay i'm not sure if you guys have heard about um hmrc will now be um sort of like taxing people that make a certain amount of money um selling secondhand clothes and all that stuff on sites such as like ebay and stuff which i think is absolutely wild but hey i think i'm just gonna throw it away and then also there's this little um nightstand um a two drawer like nightstand which i'm gonna throw away as well that one is actually broken so i'm gonna throw it away so he said he's going to be here at nine o'clock it's currently eight minutes past nine which is good because i haven't actually even gotten anywhere near finishing the um job i need to dismantle the bed which is what i'm doing now so um so yeah he's gonna come and collect that and then my living room will be free of this bed because it's been taking up space. The bedding has also arrived for the kids' room. Took a long time, very disappointed with Marks and Spencer for the delay, but it arrived today. So I'll probably do that with you guys tomorrow because um, JL's already asleep. Jemima just woke up. She hasn't been feeling very well, so she's been off from school. Um, and her sleep pattern has been irregular so she's currently up but i will show you guys the bedding and everything once i've you know put it on the bed and then i can show you what the room looks like so let me finish this off and then i will speak to you guys after <laughs> Um, so I finished doing the bed. All I done was take the front and the back, the head and the foot um, rails off um, so that it's just easy for them to put back together when they, when they decide to use it because obviously I've thrown the destruction, uh, destructions, I can't get my words out. I've thrown the instructions away years ago and um, I don't even think Ikea still have this bed. It's from Ikea. I think they've discontinued this bed. So unless they like Google the name of it, which I can't even remember, maybe someone has posted, um, what do you call it? The assembly um, instructions, the how to, how to put it together online or something, but it, there's a possibility that it might not be up. So um, I'm just gonna open the Marks and Spencer stuff that arrived 
today. Um, Mommy, I, I believe this is the duvet. Sorry? Alpha Blocks TV. Yeah. Okay. So this is um this is the two pack pillows and it's made from recycled polyester. Um they are quilted and um it says it's suitable for a side sleeper and a back sleeper and a side sleeper. So Thank you. And it was in your pocket. It says twenty-nine pounds. Hold on. So it says twenty-nine pounds fifty. But when I ordered it, I believe it was like seven fifteen pounds or something. Because they were doing a sale. Not sure if the sale's still going on by the time this video's out. But here it is. Yeah, here's your pillows. Wow. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, one for the other, one for me. Uh, no, I was going to use both of them for you. Both of them? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So that's your pillows. Yeah. Go and put them on your bed. Hello. Hello, go and put them on your bed. Take one. Yeah. Take one. And then come and get the other one. This is nice. And then next up. Are you okay? This must be the duvet. So I just got a single duvet and this is 10.5 tub. This is your duvet for my mom. This is Jemima's duvet. So she can start using that tonight. I'll put that there. And then lastly, that is the bedding set. So it's from the MS Kids um, bedding so section. Beautiful. Okay, you take this one because I've got two. And I just ordered two just so that occasionally they would match so this is so and, nice um, so when i ordered this it was oh no. Uh, no it was 14 pounds yeah yeah it was 14 pounds each was it 14 pounds each yeah it was it was it was it was what was it that I ordered that came down to seven pounds i can't no i think that was um habitat yeah so it comes with one pillowcase standard same. and um obviously the the cover so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put jemima's cover on now jl's asleep so i'll do her one tomorrow and then that's that okay guys so here's the um nightstand that i'm throwing away uh, the drawers are actually broken um when you pull it out it's a struggle to pull it out uh it's dirty there's like permanent paint on there I'm sure there's a way to get it off but the drawers are broken and then also this um thing is broken as well so i'm gonna throw it away i feel like i might keep this for them no let me throw it away as well because what why, why am i keeping stuff yeah so i'm just gonna take that um to the trash area now and then i'll do the wardrobe as well hey guys future me here i hope you're all well um, the vlog seems a bit discombobulated and I just didn't want that to carry on throughout the entire video So I just thought I would come on here and just quickly tell you guys that I did get rid of all the old furniture The bed was collected the bed frame and the mattress was actually collected and then like you saw in the last clip I threw away the broken nightstand and the sort of like VTech um, Table for kids because that was broken as well so in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys what the bedroom looks like. Quick thing, um, in the clip where I was at my dry cleaners, I did take the curtains to get them hemmed. The ones that I was going to put in the kitchen, I decided to put in the girls' bedroom. So you're going to see it in there in case you're wondering. 
um, I ended up cancelling my um, John Lewis order because that was meant to come with kids curtains as well but i'll probably buy some from there later but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already i hope you guys have enjoyed the home series like the home refresh series and once i start painting like other parts of the house such as like the hallway the walls and all of that kind of stuff i'll definitely document it and share it with you guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the look of the room comment down below let me know what you think of it and i will see you in the next video bye